Hi, this is Saul from DSI. Welcome to my weekly blog. Today we will showcase you one of the bone grafting material we produce. But before we kick in, let's go back to the basics. The main function of a bone graft is to provide mechanical support and stimulate the osteogeneration. All this with the ultimate goal in complete bone replacement. There are four fundamental biological functions we search in our bone graft, and those are osteointegration, osteogenesis, osteoconduction, and osteoinductions. All those four together are paramount in performing the bone grafting role effectively. Osteointegration, the ability of a grafting material to chemically bond to the surface of the bone, even in the absence of the interviewing fibrous tissue layer. Osteogenesis, a refers to the formation of the new bone via osteoblast or progenitor cells present within the grafting material. Osteoconduction refers to the ability of the material to generate a bioactive scaffold on which host cells can grow. Finally, the osteoinduction is the requirement of host stem cells into the grafting site, where local proteins and other factors induce the differentiation of stem cells into osteoblasts with multiple growth factors influence this process, including platelet-derived growth factors, fibroblast growth factors, and transforming growth factors beta. These four fundamental properties enable new bone formation, which occurs in parallel to direct osseous interconnection. Additional parameters that might influence your choice of a bone graft include, but not limited, to biocompatibility, resorbability, sterility, structural integrity, adequate porosity for vascular ingrowth, plasticity, ease of handling, compressive strain, and cost. Autograft is the bone or tissue that is transferred from one spot to another in the patient body. It is considered the gold standard in bone grafting because of its reliability. A high success rate is due to the fact that this is living tissue with its cells kept intact. With autograft, there will be no potential for immune reaction or disease transmission. It may heal a large or small defect by itself. And the process of transplanting the intact bone-forming cells means the material is osteoinductive. The drawbacks are risk of pain and infection in the harvest site, the fact that restoration of the additional site may last for a long time, additional surgery and anesthesia which are required. For those reasons, it may not be an option for some patients. Allograft tissue is taken from another person. Generally, it comes from a donor or cadaver bone. Usually, it takes longer to incorporate into the recipient body, but there is no second surgical site to heal. This kind of material are commonly used in surgery, have well-documented success, may heal small defect by itself, osteogenic and osteoconductive. The drawbacks include the risk minimal but still a risk for disease transmission, the material not being osteoinductive, the fact that portions of the graft may remain in the bone forever, and limited ability to heal large defects by itself. DSI Elios Allograft is a great alternative to using the autogenous graft for a patient, bringing a number of significant benefits. The need for second surgery site is eliminated, along with potential complications and infections, post-operative pain, additional anesthesia, and a longer healing process. Complete safety and high quality of the bone are ensured by numerous treatment sequences and exceptional measures that we take. Currently, only European Union registered tissue banks are using as a source, where virtually all the donors undergo streaming screening and extensive tests before being accepted into the banks. After the input, the bone is processed into the demineralized bone matrix to expose osteoinductive growth factors in highly innovative facilities under the aseptic technique to avoid any possible cross-contamination and meet strict release standards. The last step of the production is the gamma sterilization to deliver a clinically effective product neutral to immune reactions of the host. The material comes as a ready-to-use bone in syringe, which makes it more accurate and easier to work with, fulfilling the bone defect or maxillary sinus during the sinus lift procedure. DSI Helios is very easy to use. It's also economical due to no waste of the bone grafting material 
during the mixing process. The reported surgical results are great and could be comparable with autogenous bone graft procedure. And finally, it saves you chair time. At the end of this video, I'll put a link to the surgical cases so you could see the material in action and understand why every doctor that bought the DSI Helios came again for more.